Just point out, I got a white right telling off of my uh, mum um, the other week because I never played the accordion eight o'clock on the Thursday when we are supposed to pay tribute to the, the National Health Service. So you know, fair enough. I uh, hopefully, hopefully, I have redeemed myself with the shoe that must be obeyed even more than my wife. Anyway. Um, So I'm going to I'm going to carry on um, tomorrow with the um, looking at the prosecutorial immunity, um, and I would just point out that we've had both the dude and I a, a few conversations with uh, Mr. Rob Belling, the uh, attorney from uh, Wisconsin, that has <laughs> quite a bit of knowledge about both the uh, Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey's trials, um, the $50 million bullet, the, the Michael Funk case, and as you probably noticed a couple of weeks before, Mammothon was on the Dude's channel. Hopefully we'll catch up with him in the not-too-distant future, hopefully uh, maybe next weekend. Um, so that was one thing I wanted to point out. Um, yes. StreamYard is now, um, I am now up to the last 20, let's see, um, how many minutes have we been on? 20, 26 minutes, so 23 minutes. So I've not got long to run through, and I just wanted to quickly, just, just for a bit of fun, just run through who uh, who was on the, that presentation. And also, more importantly, the fact I got, I got a lot of um, Messenger, Facebook Messenger basically blew up with everybody telling me who who I should have included in the um, American Icons series. Anyway, let's just um, let's just do that straight away. Let's let's screen share here, and let's put that up there. Let's do that, and then you can screen share, and I can put up first of all. Here are the um, characters, and we'll get, run through them very quickly, just in case you didn't know who some of them were. Obviously, that's the, the characters from Lost in Space, one of my favorite TV programs as a, as a child growing up. Absolutely loved Lost in Space. Obviously, uh, Henry Ford. Uh, I had quite a lot of Ford cars, so uh, very important. This gentleman is Sudden Sam Ermolenko from California, World Speedway Champion, and without doubt, the best commentator on um, 
Speedway, uh, you'll, you'll be, if you ever tune into any, any kind of Speedway, motorcycle Speedway, you'll probably hear Sudden Sam Ermolenko. Really nice fella. Um, obviously, this is Bruce Penhall. He was absolutely phenomenal. When he, when he came across to the UK, he set track records everywhere he went. No wonder he became a, a TV star in Chips. California, California Highway Patrol, I believe. That's what it, Chips stands for. In case you didn't know, George and Ira Gershwin, um, he... You know, we say potato and I say potato, you say tomato and I say tomato and all that kind of stuff. So, so George and Ira Gershwin, obviously very famous. Now, I'm always cautious about this. I have to make sure that the screen is sharing. So I'm just going to quickly make sure. Excellent. That's good. That's always a, a good. <laughs> I had no idea who these two people were. Apparently, it's one person, RuPaul. Um, that was my daughter's suggestion of a couple of years ago of famous Americans. So I, th I think they were they were kind of winding me up. <laughs> I had no idea who RuPaul was. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Uh, everybody knows who this next fellow is. That's obviously the fawns. Come on, quickly move down. There we go. Obviously, Eminem. I love Eminem, especially the song The Way I Am. Sounds like a bit of rock music, but it's not. Uh, the Osmonds, one bad apple. Don't spoil the whole bad bunch. But of course, as far as Manish Rock is concerned, probably one or two bad apples did spoil the whole bunch. Um, there we go. Um, here, do, do, I'm just wondering, does that does that not look a little bit like Johnny Johnny G Jack Jane, uh, Gaming Ripper? I don't know. I, that, I, I, I've got a funny you know, that looks a bit like Johnny Jack. Obviously, this is uh, Lance Armstrong, first fella fella to set foot on the moon, as we see from the photograph. Um, and I must admit, in the REM song "Man on the Moon." I don't know. I I, I don't I don't think that is studio made up. Um, no, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. The Wacky Races, fantastic. You still love this. Dick Dastardly and Muttley and the Buzzwagon, the Crimson Hay Baler, the Creepy Coop, the Arkansas Chuggerbug, the Baldermobile, the Roaring Plenty, the Army Surplus Special, the the Room Roadster, um, but of course. Number one, my favorite of all the racky races, Penelope Pit Stop. There she is, Penelope Pit Stop. Wonderful. And when I, when, I, when I hear Nancy Grace, I just hear Penelope Pit Stop. I am sorry, that is all I hear. I just see Nancy Grace's Penelope Pit Stop. Top Cat, well, yeah. What a, what, what a fantastic fella Top Cat is. Can't, oh. Here we go. Here, I could have included so many films of Brad Pitt, including um, Burn, Burn After Reading, um, Meet Joe Black. Um, there's so many films with uh, Brad Pitt in it. There he is, Inglorious. Oh, there he is, the dude himself. I mean, you know, it's okay, it's Thursday, so it's not Tuesday, but listen, that dude could dance any day of the week. As long as I show him what to do, there he is, Brad Pitt again. Um, there's Mr. Happy again. Oh yeah, Clint Eastwood. Can't can't argue about Mr. Clint Eastwood. This fella, jazz pianist called Chick Career. Um, probably the best way to check out some of his music is to check out a, um, a group called Return to Forever. Absolutely brilliant stuff, Chick Career. Uh, and a very clever, clever person. I had a video of, of his where he talked about a lot of things other than just music, lots of other things besides. For me, um, I, I know I got one or two people say, oh, there's, 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 more, there's more famous, better quarterbacks or more iconic quarterbacks in history. 
Well, you know, my history of, of uh, American football doesn't go back that far, certainly back back to the 80s. But I'm with Charlie Behrens. This this is Brett, Brett Favre. He's he's the late date for me. Um, as I say, I do apologise. I don't know much about the history. Um, although I do know about this fella. This is Charles Magnanti. This is this is my um, my idol, Charles Magnanti, the greatest accordionist that ever walked the planet. You got that for? Oh, okay. See you later, darling. My wife just walked past. In case you're wondering what the footsteps were there. So this is Charles Magnanti. Both my dad and I and my granddad, we all admire Charles Magnanti. The the best accordionist we've ever heard. Oh, here we go. Some Sesame Street characters. Bert and Ernie. There we go. Um, and, you know, in, in years to come, well, we already know, don't we, that, that we get in fast spenders interview of brendan is already is already iconic I, you know you can't take that away from them you you know you you can point out to them that they're a bunch of of well i'm, I'm not going to swear but you know they're, they're not very nice people and they're very corrupt people but their interview of brendan dassey has become iconic and as for this pair of fellas well yeah um dodgy wonky you know the words fail me as to how to describe these two particular fellas um but yeah so some people probably probably that it's almost like they they look as if they're related don't they anyway anyway um probably the most iconic uh, American person of all. Um, I had never heard of Captain Crunch. I had never tried Captain Crunch until I went to Australia. But here he is. Here's the Captain Crunch, one of the most iconic Americans of all time. Obviously, in the cartoon series, voiced by Dawes Butler, the voice of Yogi Bear, the Jetsons, and various Huckleberry Hound, all sorts of famous... Um, characters has um Dawes butler portrayed now i predict big things for charlie charlie barons um i was fortunate i was alerted to charlie barons manicrop minute round about its fourth episode so i was one of the early ones i got in touch with him straight away he liked what i was sending him and he responded with an absolutely fantastic photograph of himself where he signed it to me to Paul under squeeze box, keep her moving, the iconic phrase, Charlie Bones, go Packers, and I'm not too sure what what that all means. F plus the Bears. I, I've no idea what that means, so anyway, we'll move on. Obviously, an American icon, absolutely. Absolutely an American icon. Um, history will dictate how we look upon Brendan Dassey, but... Uh, I predict that uh, making a murderer has had a profound effect on the legal system already and will for many years to come. <clears throat> what can we say about Eric Ozy? Well, other than that he's cool, man. He is just the coolest, one of the coolest men on the coolest men on the planet. Coolest women on the planet? Yeah, definitely. Moira Demos and uh, Laura Riccardi, definitely. And Oh, yes. One wonderful lady herself, Laura Nyrider. And there we go. There's there's Eric Cozy again. Again. Um, can't get enough of the fella. Oh, yeah. And there's Captain Crunch again. Um, Jerry. Somebody said, well, what about Dean Strand? I've met Jerry a few times. Um, he always replies to my uh, emails. Uh, I, I, you know, I've, I've grown to really like Jerry. I, I think he's a, a straightforward, honest, straight-up guy. Um, I, I, I don't see any conspiracy with him, I must admit. I'm sorry. I, I just don't. 
you know the, the lengths that he's gone to um no nah, he's 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 a straight up really good guy um same same with steve drizzen i forgive steve i forgive you for calling me welsh that's that's how much i admire you okay now you know <coughs> I, I i apologize if if this lady ran for president of the united states she would be absolutely the best person to go for um she's just absolutely fantastic um and then finally we get this uh this scrapyard man from uh, Wisconsin. Well, he was born in America, but he was made in in Manitowoc. And Manitowoc really have um, abused this fella. I mean, that's really all I can say about him. It, it, it really has been a case of abuse. But um, in the few minutes that we've got left, let's just run through because as i say i was inundated with people asking me about um who who i had in who i didn't have in um as i say i've included the um the dude himself eric Cose, a few times i predict great things for um, eric Cose in the years to come um so a bit of unashamed nepotism because as a lot of you know, he is my adopted wee brother. Um, as I say, oh, hi, Eunice. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, just one. Oh, two. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, so, anyway. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> let's get back to what we should be doing. Um, so, as far as Dean Strang is concerned, uh, yes, he was he was very eloquent throughout the trials, um, and yes, he went on those initial tours with uh, with Jerry. But Jerry has kept going, um, and so I I think Jerry deserves to be in there. Somebody I really admire is the actor Billy Bob Thornton, uh, and I've seen him in so many uh, different movies, and and only today I was. Um, in the messenger group with um, the dude um, shark bait and you remember Rob Bellin that joined the dude and I for a chat a couple of weeks ago he, hopefully we'll we'll get Rob in back in in a couple of weeks time not this weekend maybe next weekend um, and, and he said oh I, I really like Billy Bob Thornton in Goliath so I'm gonna check that one out and see if I can get hold of Goliath <laughs> Julie, the the back the background picture. This is the most westerly point on the island of Skye. It is um, called Neist Point. Now I've actually I've actually been to Neist Point. I've got a photograph of me and Eunice at Neist Point. We did not go to the top of that promontory. Um, there were people that were going up there, and I thought, nah, that. You know what? That doesn't appeal to me. That does not appeal to me at all. Um, Phil, um, hi, hi, Phil. Um, Roger Ramjet. Um, was that another one that was voiced by Boars, Doors Butler? I'm not too sure. Anyway, um, so yes, Dean Strang didn't make the list, nor did Billy Bob Thorpe, because. At the end of the day, if, if I'm going to put these fellas in, I'm going to have to get rid of either Eric Cozy or the dude. And I, and I, you know, in my top 25, and I wasn't prepared to do that. Likewise, um, a great Chicago jazz accordionist called Art Van Damme. I've even admitted, of course, omitted, should I say, I've admitted the likes of Jimi Hendrix, John Wayne, Robert De Niro, Jack Nicholson, as I say, I do apologize, but I can't fit them all in. You know, we have to have Captain Crunch in there because he is an absolute American idol. Um, so, yes, um, I'm going to say cheerio right now because, as I say, tomorrow, StreamYard resets. 
um, and I'll be able to go again. I've read a, another article about prosecutorial immunity, which which I find rather interesting. Um, and, and I think I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that tomorrow when um, when I do a, uh, another look through. It, again, it'll probably be a two or three parter uh, looking through the text of, of an article um, which deals with prosecutorial immunity and it looks at all of the problems with it and, and I, I I mean I don't know about you but I, I don't see any dubiety about the fact that if we want a, a proper justice system you know not not just America but, but you know and anywhere you go prosecutorial immunity for me is is a complete nonsense but anyway, I've come across an article which, um, whilst it points out the the problems of you know um, prosecutors doing their doing their own thing, as it were, it suggests the opposite, and that is to make all prosecutors or to give all prosecutors absolute immunity. So so let's so let's look at. Um, that, that particular article and then and then let then we'll look at something which is um the complete opposite of that um hope you enjoy the the yeah, the background pictures let me just give you a couple 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 tree more before i go um as you know i've got it's this green screen here's some great background pictures we have the fairy pools also on the isle of sky Obviously, we've got Nice Point. We've got here in the borders, we've got the Liederfurt Viaduct. Um, I can nip over to El, uh, to El, El Dudio, El, El, El Duderino's um, studio. Here's a, another couple of famous places in Scotland. Not exactly sure where that is. Um, obviously, we are nowhere near the Great Wall of China, but uh, hey ho! Um, I've definitely had a photograph taken under here before. Here's another famous place in in Scotland, and this is taking the. Um, Social distancing to some extreme. Um, and here I am. Back in my own place. Okay. Um, so there we go. Let's let's put it back to where it was. So this is Neast Point. The most westerly point on the sky. Um, as I say, the, um, the stream yards resets itself. So I'm looking forward to... Uh, doing a whole load of, of live videos. Uh, I want to get hold of, and and he said he, he would let me know um, his, his availability um, over the next week or so, uh, both Mill Billy and uh, Johnny Jack Gaming Ripper, um, or as the dude likes to call him, Hollywood. Uh, he, he said he would uh, come back to me in, in a wee while. Um, one, one other thing, we've, we've got, um, Jerome has, has got a guitar that he wants to give away. Um, um now apparently I'm, I've been told not to use the word raffle. It's a draw. Apparently there's, there's a subtle difference between raffle and draw. So anyway, um, he's got a guitar he wants to uh, donate. I've got um, some big Lebowski T-shirts. The dude's got something. Um, so we're hopefully going to get together, uh, a few of us, to discuss what we're going to do with regards to um, how people can win these, receive these various prizes, and also 
um, we're going to look very closely at how best um, international supporters can support Steve and Brendan. Possibly the best way of doing it would be um, to simply send money via PayPal to um, a, a very well-known, very iconic supporter of Stephen Brendan over there in America, over there in Wisconsin. And that would possibly be the best way of doing it. So anyway, that's that's something that, that you know, leave leave it with us. We'll we'll look at we'll look at the um, the pros and cons, and that's probably what uh, what we will aim to do. Okay. So as I say, I expect I want to I want to <laughs> see what happens when Streamyard says that your yeah, twenty hours per month is up. So I'm just going to keep going because it should happen any second now because as far as i was as far as i was concerned there was only 26 minutes left mm. okay actually i th actually I, th I think i think i might it's 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 kept going so i think it's true that what happens with with um stream it says it will not cut off it will not chop off your your live coverage um, straight away. It will keep going for that live video that you're that you're doing. So that's so that's interesting. Okay, um, you you must forgive us because you know all of us that, that are using Streamyard for this. It's all it's all new to us. We've never we've never had Streamyard before last year. When we did Mammothon, it was all through the Google Hangouts. Um, and this year, we've got StreamYards, and I can use the, obviously, the, the, the green screen stuff. In fact, let's just, just have a look at this. There, there's something I did want to want to show you, actually. That's just suddenly, I've remembered. And that was that if I come down here and get rid of that, which was a... A different background there there you go that's 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 my normal background or at least that's the the green screen that i've set up but if i go over here and what are we looking for, we're looking for yes There we go. <laughs> there we go. This is this this is this is a photograph of the, the front of the T-shirt that uh, one of the big Lebowski T-shirts that I've got up for for grabs. It's got all. It's got like twenty odd quotes from from the film The Big Lebowski. So uh, so this this is this is one of the three T-shirts that I'm uh, I'm looking to to give away. Um, in, in this draw um hopefully we can we can raise a few few dollars for the guys through the draw um the dude's got some magnets um jerome's got a guitar but also you know as i say we're looking to uh to see how how it's best to get money to the guys um because it because it's not easy you know the uh, basically i've been told that what you can do is you can download the form to access corrections you can you can then fill it all out uh you can put in a uk or what, whatever country address and you can send it via snail mail um but that's but, but that's that, that's that's not a great way of of doing it particularly when there's a much easier way of of doing it which is to you know for international supporters to have somebody who can collect the money via paypal and then send it off to uh, both steve and brendan so so, so as i say leave, leave it with us yep yeah, um the i've got the 
the, the big Lebowski t-shirt, this one behind me is, is a large and I've got a couple of extra large t-shirts as well. So, uh, so yes, um, that, they, 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 they'll be in the drawer. Okay. Um, so yes, obviously, um, stream yards does not uh, terminate your video chop it there and then so thank you very much stream yards you've been uh, most wonderful i will go and see if i can find um billy bob thornton thornton in in a in a film or a series called goliath um and we'll catch you again soon take care bye for now